Hey, welcome back to the Tooth House channel. In today's video, we're going to be discussing a BMW mirror and Linbus. And first off, right off the bat, I am not an expert with Linbus. I've done a ton of research. Uh, I've read tech manuals, uh, data papers uh, about the technology and, and how it's implemented. And uh, the simplest uh, explanation that I can provide is that uh, the Linbus can utilize a single wire in a device to send and receive commands. So in the past, in a rear view mirror, you might have a wire to disable auto dimming when you put the car in reverse. You might have another wire to disable auto dimming when the dome lights are on. You might have two wires that go out of the mirror to dim your driver's side door mirror. And you might have two wires that come out of the mirror to dim your passenger side door mirror if you have that option. So you have a bunch of wires to perform a bunch of functions. And with a single Linbus wire, you can accomplish all of those goals. And, and then some. So starting around 2009 or 2010 time frame, you start seeing Linbus integration in computer modules all throughout the cars. Um, this may vary from, from brand to brand, but, you know, Mercedes, it was 2000, I believe 2009. And I think believe the BMW was 2009 2010 time frame as well so um, that uh, prefaces what we're going to be talking about today here um, what I have on my workbench is a uh, this is a 2011 BMW x3 rear view mirror now I've already taken the mirror apart so we just have the glass and the circuit board here now this is one of those mirrors that utilizes Linbus so, um, if we take a look at the wiring on the back of this particular BMW mirror, we've got, you know, basically four wires. We've got a white with a black stripe. We have a, a blue and we have a red and a brown. Now, previous to Linbus integration, um, you might be able to take one of these mirrors and, you know, uh, determine which is a switch 12 volt and which is the ground wire and get the mirror functioning. Uh, you may or may not utilize a reverse lockout. Um, in the case of BMW mirrors, they have most of them have a blinking LED on the bottom, so there's going to be either one or two wires associated with that. Uh, in the case of this mirror, there's a single wire associated with the blinking LED. That's this blue wire. This white with the black stripe is the Linbus. These other two wires are your switch 12 volt and your ground. So um, pretty simple. Now, the, the problem with this is if you, um, I'm speaking more for people who like to do mods on their BMWs. I don't own a BMW. Uh, I build mirrors for Mercedes. Uh, but uh, so that's why I kind of got into this, this whole Linbus situation as I'm trying to deal with Linbus on Mercedes. And I'll get to that in a few minutes as well. So this mirror, to get this mirror to work, um, you need to provide not only switch 12 volt and a ground, you need to provide a signal on this Linbus wire. And it's not as simple as just giving it 12 volt power or ground or something like that. It, for this mirror to turn on and stay on, it needs a specific type of data sent to it. Um, Again, I'm not an expert in that area, so I'm going to use, I'm going to explain things in terminology that I've come up with. For this mirror to turn on and to function, it needs a wake up command from the Linbus master. The wake up command is followed by stay awake commands every few milliseconds. That keeps the mirror turned on. And then any other uh, commands like uh, uh, lock out auto dimming because the car is in reverse. That would be another signal that would come through the Linbus wire. But those types of signals 
for for this demonstration here, we're not going to be dealing with that. What we're what we're going to be dealing with is just getting this mirror to work. So we need the wake up command and we need the stay awake commands. Um, there really isn't a necessity for a shutdown command because once you take power from the mirror, it's going to shut down. Um, that's that's my terminology. So uh, any experts out there with Linbus, don't don't beat me up over it because this is not my area of expertise. So um, let me go ahead and uh, let me get this mirror put together and get some power to it, and we'll we'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, I've got um, the Homelink module plugged into the mirror circuit board, and I've got uh, 12 volt and ground going to the mirror. So on older generations of these mirrors, your switch 12 volt and your ground would be enough to get the uh, auto dimming function working, um, the home link would work, and so on. But with these new Linbus mirrors, if you hook up 12 volt and ground, um, you can get the home link to work. So you can see over here, you can see the home link uh, LED blinking, so that works. And the LED will actually function um, if you hooked it up to a blinking source. I'll just tap this to uh, 12 volt, and you can see the LED blinking right there. So, um, and that LED is a surface mount LED that uh, is powered through the circuit board. So um, the mirror has to be powered up for power to reach the LED. So you can see that works, but what isn't working is the auto auto dimming. Now that is where the LIN bus signal uh, comes into play. And without a proper signal going to this white and black strap wire, you don't get auto dimming. All right, so for people wanting to upgrade their mirrors and their BMWs on, let's say you have an older BMW, uh, mid-2000s, Personally, don't get one of these mirrors. Um, you can get this to work, but it isn't worth the hassle. You know, like I said, this is a 2010 or 2011. There really isn't much difference between that generation mirror and, say, a 2008. The 2008 is going to look the same. The brackets are the same. It'll have home link in it. It'll have the blinking LED. Um, it'll have more wires in it because it will have, it may have two auto dimming wires for your driver's door mirror. Uh, it'll have a wire for reverse lockout. Uh, it'll have a wire for the LED. It'll have your switch 12 volt and you have, have your ground. So you'll have to figure out that wiring scheme in that particular mirror. But you don't need to get a complicated solution to make the mirror work in your car. So what I did to fix this particular problem here, um, I did some extensive research on the internet and I came across one single person who managed to get a workaround for this particular problem. I'll give full credit to him because he's the one who did this. I just contacted him, got his information, and built my own solution based off of, of the data he provided to me. His name is Nick Holliday. I found him over on a uh, website, uh, babybmw.net. Now, he wanted to put this type of mirror in his older BMW, ran into the wind bus problem, he had access to a BMW that had a uh, LIN bus in the car already, so, you know, a 2011 or 2012, whatever. He used an oscilloscope with a add-on module to capture the data flowing to and from the mirror on this wire. And he was able to digest that information and pull out, going back to what I said before, the wake and stay awake commands and how often they need to be sent to the mirror to keep the mirror active. So he was able to pull that information out um, and convert it into a format that could be uh, uploaded to uh, a Arduino module. And that leads us into the next segment here. Um, 
this is what Nick built. And he gave me the information and I went ahead and built my own. So mine's a little bit different than his, but it uses basically the same components. We have a LIN bus converter. We have a 12 volt to 5 volt uh, regulator, and that's this. And then we have a Arduino. I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly because I'm not that I, I don't do that much work with that, that type of technology. This is an Arduino nano board, and um, it's basically soldered onto one of these um, test boards here, um, following the diagram that I got from Nick. Um, I used his data pulled from the BMW to program um, this, this circuit, this board. Now, the information I got from him, um, which worked for him on his BMW, does not work for Mercedes. I figured the, that the LIN bus protocol would be roughly the same from BMW to Mercedes, uh, plus the maker of these mirrors, Gentax, is makes the mirrors for BMW and Mercedes, so I figured these commands are probably the same, uh, but there's some difference that does not allow this to work with Mercedes mirrors, but this will work with the BMW mirror. So um, the other issue I had was programming this. Uh, at the time I did this, I couldn't get the Arduino drivers to load in Windows 10, so I broke out an old Windows 7 tablet that I could get the drivers loaded so I could program this. So with this build, and I don't, I don't remember exactly how much this, this set me back. This is, I probably have 35 to $50 invested in this and probably three to six hours worth of time. So that goes back to what I said before. This is not worth it to make one of these mirrors work in an older car. The time investment and the cost uh, for the components and, and the time to build this, uh, it's, it's just not worth it. But anyway, let me um, let me go ahead and hook this device up to the mirror, and I'll show you how it functions. Okay, with um, the Linbus signal generator hooked up, <clears throat> three wires on that is pretty simple. You've got uh, ground, switch 12 volt, and then um, this green wire here that I use goes to the Linbus. Now what this is going to do when it powers up, it's going to send a wake up command and then it's going to repeat a stay awake command every few milliseconds. And uh, let's um, go ahead and power this up. You can see that the mirror right now is not uh, dimmed. I've got the sensor on the back covered with tape. So as soon as I power this up, you'll see the mirror starts to dim. And we've got some blinking LEDs down here on the Arduino and the uh, mirror is dimmed. So the, uh, the coating that uh, Nick grabbed with his oscilloscope, uh, which worked for him, works on this BMW mirror from this 2011 um, model. And um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So that's, that's the effort that needs to be done uh, if you wanted to take this mirror and put it into a car that does not have LIN bus already in it. So, uh, in in uh, a summation, um, if, if you absolutely want to go down this route, I'm happy to share this information that I got from Nick. Uh, I'm not going to post that in, in the description, but if you want to leave me uh, a comment in the video description, um, I can get in contact with you and get your email address and I can email you the data I have. Um, I will not convert your mirror, your BMW mirror. I will not build you one of these. Neither will Nick. Um, I tried to get Nick to build me one of these and he would not do it, but he was definitely uh, forthcoming with uh, providing me the information that he used to build one. So um, I will definitely, uh, I would be willing to pass on that information if you wanted to undertake this type of project yourself. So you'd have to leave me a comment and I can get in touch with you. So um, an, an interesting project, to say the least, to tackle this Lin bus issue. 
Um, I don't know if, as the years go by, if there will be um, somebody will come out with a solution for this particular problem. Um, I'm sure somebody could devise something that was cheaper and easier, but whether the demand is there, that I really don't know. But anyway, that's going to go ahead and I'm going to wrap up this particular video on the uh, BMW 2010-2011 uh, on um, auto dimming rear view mirrors, um, the Lin bus problems, and the workaround to get these mirrors working without an actual Lin bus circuit in your car. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.